Shout out to Trucker Nay. She came out about a while back and asked you guys about controversial company Super Eagle, man. And my, my thing is this. Why well, ask about the company? All you got to do is just do your research. You will see every negative review, every positive review. You will see every video. Hell, just type in lockout men backslash super eagle and you'll hear from an abundance of drivers that came across the channel and, and spoke about their testimonials with the company. But she came and asked the question about controversial company, Super Eagle. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Hey, y'all. I need you all here. Let me know is <laughs> Super Ego is a good company. I see so many negative reviews on this company. And I'm just trying to see, like, is this a good company to go and work for? Or is it not? Please. Subscribe to my channel. Also, like and give me your honest opinion on this country. I can tell you right now, if you already seen the negative reviews, Trucker Nay, then believe the negative reviews. But, hey, I'm, I, I'm not here to judge. If you want to go and find out about controversial company Super Eagle, then by all means, see what they got to talk about. Which you did, by the way. Hold on. Y'all, what y'all think about this? Like, y'all think this shit legit or what? Because I'm thinking about Marcia's company and I don't know what the fuck I'm going into. Well, you're going into hell. You're going into hell, Trucker Nay. Trucker Nay, you're going into hell. Take your time and make sure that this company is the right company for you because it wasn't the right company for a whole bunch of people that was interested in becoming quote unquote owner operators or or a company that they trying to get that you're trying to buy your own truck this company isn't it trucker nay but again like i said i'm not here to judge just go check it out for yourself and see if it works for you let's find out if it did hold on okay y'all i'm gonna tell y'all about has to go down the whole whole hiring process with me i got there monday monday morning off the flight to chicago um, they sent their their drivers to pick up from the um no, from the um, airport and they picked us up from the airport they took all of us to the building the subigo building so once we got there and everything the lady there, she asked for your id your cdl and she gonna sign you to a yard manager so she will go talk to your yard manager. He gonna ask you kind of truck you one. And once you get him out of the he gonna, I end up going to my class, my training with a lady and a guy. I did both of my trainings that same day. It was people that came with me, but at the end of the day, some left before I did, and some still was there when I left. So it depends on you and how they decide you wanna go through the process too. So once I did my videos and everything, I was done for the day. Matter of fact, I was done for all the videos, the training. So once I got through with that, I ended up going to the front with safety. And the safety lady, she talked to you, whatever, and discussed everything with you, and she sent you for your drugs. I went and did my drugs, came back, gave her my information, or whatever, and I was done for the day. I ended up going to the They have hotels where they'll put you in, but the money comes out your check for the hotel. Plus, you'll be roomed on with somebody, you in a room with somebody, too. Basically, going to take care of your own food, everything you need, you're going to spend money for that, because they're not going to do it. Boom, that was my first day. All right, so sounds like everything went well. First day of orientation. She actually has a couple of more videos. You guys go to Trucker Nay on her channel and check out the other two orientation videos. But it seems as though the first day went pretty good. She was able to talk to the safety lady. They was able to go out there on the yard to choose their trucks. They was picked up from the airport and everything. And so far, so good. Except for the hotel part, though. She said that the money is going to come out of her paycheck. But you're, you're, you're roomed up with somebody? Wait, you, you're going to take money out of my paycheck for a room that I got to share with somebody else? I, I'm, I'm sorry. No, if, if you're going to take money out of my paycheck for a room, that room better be mine and all mine to myself that night, that morning, that week, that day. I'm not sharing my room with nobody else, especially if I have to pay for it. Who does that? Super Eagle does that. 
<laughs> oh man, but it it's so far so good. Fast forward, she picked out a truck. It was pink, looked like a pink truck. Nice. Unfortunately, something happened to that truck and she was in another truck. But now I don't think it worked out for Trucker Nay because she came back with another video. Hold on. When I tell y'all, this my last motherfucking week with this company, they bad. If I were close to Georgia right now, I would park this motherfucking truck and trailer and have them bitches to come pick this bitch up. When I say I've been with this company since March the 5th, March the 5th. It's gonna be a month. I have went through hell with these bitches. I wouldn't even recommend this company to a homeless person that's looking for a fucking CDL job. I wouldn't do it. Y'all do not waste y'all's time, y'all energy, nothing. I wish I can go live to like break everything down from top to bottom. I need one more subscriber just to go live. One more. I promise you, I will give y'all the whole breakdown on these stupid ass motherfuckers. When I say, when I go home Thursday, I ain't going home Friday, say I'm going home Thursday. Soon I leave from Missouri. I'm driving my skinny ass back to Georgia, parking the truck at my address, and they gonna come get this bitch. I ain't gotta worry about nobody saying I abandoned they shit. None of that bitch is at my house, not abandoned. So they can't put it on shit of mine saying I abandoned they fucking vehicle. But once I get that one subscriber, that one more subscriber, I will run y'all motherfuckers down from the top to the bottom to this. When I say top to the bottom, with this motherfucking company, this company ain't got a bottom. When I say they, 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 I don't understand these motherfuckers. I don't went through hell since March the 5th. Over with. I ain't finna go no longer. I'm a female, but I ain't no dumb motherfucker. I'm, a, I'm all about my money. I'm all about making money. I got a family to take care of. When them motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you and your family, you gotta let that shit go. Just like I told them. They can kiss my ass when Thursday comes. Stay tuned. I need one more subscriber so I can run y'all motherfuckers down from top to bottom with this company. I got a big I got a long ass if I if I could nigga y'all if I could I could write a book on this company Well there you have it another one bust of dust Oh man Well you guys go over there subscribe to uh, Trucker Nay on YouTube and yes you do have a, a live feed of Super Ego I believe it's like 25 minutes where she do break everything down but I'm just telling you guys, listen, man, if you if you read the reviews and you seen all the negativity surrounding this company, why are you going to give this company a benefit of the doubt? There is way too many negative reviews on this company for you guys to literally say Super Ego is a good company. Now, there is some coffee drinkers over there that will say that Super Ego is a good company, but you got to understand some of those coffee drinkers are paid actors, too. I, I'm just saying. Maybe it might work for a, a driver that already have his, his, his truck, his authority, and just use Super Ego as a supplement then it might just work for them. But as for a driver, a young driver, a driver that's thinking that they're gonna make some money with this company is not going to be, I have not seen any person, black or white, 
that has completed a whole contract with controversial company Super Eagle. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below because I might be wrong on this. I might be wrong on this, but I'm just simply saying that I haven't came across any drivers, black or white, that has actually completed a, a, a full contract with this company. I haven't. Again, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. Help me out here. But again, drivers, if you seen the reviews, if you read the reviews, if you seen the videos, if you come over to the Lockout Men's channel and and hear all of the testimonials. And let me just say I know maybe maybe 50% of them are like brand new drivers drivers that are in the sap program and drivers that only been there for maybe a month two months three months four months or whatever is still their story at least they went over there to give it the benefit of the doubt and they come to find out that that benefit of the doubt wasn't what they was looking for so with that said, make sure you guys go over there and subscribe to Trucker Nay and listen to her story. If you want to come and share your testimonial with us on the Lockout Men channel, feel free to reach out by the email. That's lockoutmenguest at gmail.com. Or you can hit the channel number and text to us. We would love to hear your stories, whether it's Super Eagle or anything else out there.